a pretty, pretty uh, heavy model of the Cincinnati over the last couple of years, so. Um, What's it like to have a horse like that? A, a dream. <laughs> That's what we all go to sales for, uh, trying to find one like her. And uh, uh, she's uh, just been terrific, a lot of fun. I mean, at what point did you think we have something special? Uh, I had to rely on Nifty all winter, and he kept telling me she was pretty nice, but I don't think uh, any of us expected that she would be as, uh, as, as great as she's turned out to be. And uh, I think after her first... Uh, uh, her first couple of races, and we realized that we had something pretty, pretty neat. When was it for you? Well, you know, she always, she was always so beautifully gated, and, and, and you knew the potential was there. But you know, she had some bad habits, and we weren't sure if she was going to get through them. But you know, when, when she, as soon as she saw the gate, away she went. She was a different horse, so. Kind of bad uh, you know, she wouldn't go on the track for about 10 days, just refused to go and would lie down. And, and then when she got on the track, she'd just stand still and buck and kick and not go anywhere. So it was a bit of a worry for a while, but you know, that seems like a long time ago now. Last year when she came to stay at the farm with us, she's such a class act. Yeah, yeah. No, she's a sweetheart, actually. Yeah, but she, she's funny on the track. She's got a few little habits there. but. She, you know, it was interesting. Nifty generally qualifies everything a couple of times, and he qualified her one time at the Meadowlands, and uh, just a so-so mile. And uh, I spoke to him that afternoon, and I said, uh, "You're going back next week?" And he says, "No, I don't think so. I think she's ready to go." And uh, that was kind of an eye opener to me off of one qualifier. I said, "Geez, he must uh, feel pretty comfortable about it." So but I guess that was the first real indication that she might be a pretty neat, pretty special horse. Is there one win that sticks out for you, or she's had so many that have been fantastic? Oh my goodness, wow, she's, uh, you know, uh, that year at three, when she won all 17 stats, uh, I think every one of those, particularly after she got the first 10 or 12, you know, uh, those were very special to keep it all going and so on and so forth. And, Obviously, the Breeders' Crown is great. Be a magician perfection in 2013. The Hamiltonian Oaks is kind of always a special one. And no, I couldn't single one out. They're all they're all great. I mean, you know, I still get butterflies every time she races. So you know, every every race is special for me. Her three-year-old year, there were a lot of people that wanted to see her go into the Hamiltonian. You guys didn't do that, but now she, she races uh, routinely against the boys. Is that always in the plans? Well, you mean as far as going into the Hamiltonian, I think uh, um, that, that was talked about and considered. We we were very lucky that year. We had also Spider Butcher, and he was in the uh, Hamiltonian on the, on the male side. So it was probably a little less uh, uh, our inclination to go with her, but uh, you know, we, I think we're pretty happy with the way we went. Don't yeah, we? I, I was glad with the the decision. You know, we, we've seen Mission Brief in, in a similar situation, and uh, yes, it's hard to beat the boys. Beat them on a regular basis now, though. Yeah, yeah, that's different, though. You know, that's as a five year old, that's a, a long way down the, the line. She's in the right, she's a chopper. Is it physical or is it mental or a combination that she's able to go out on the track with the best male? Well, it's, uh, obviously, it's a combination, I think. You know, she's firstly physical because she's, she's big and strong and she's got a great gait. But she's uh, determined too, and, and you know, and she's uh, we're so lucky. She's uh, so sound and never really had any issues at all. I mean, nothing, which you don't see that. Is there something for you that stands out, or do you just think she's the way she's made is? That's well, I know I'd like to find another one built just like she's built, and uh, <laughs> I'll take my chances with with the results if, if I had one like that uh, built like that. And, She's, she's a really, really uh, just an outstanding looking individual. We were just talking the other night, I think it was David Miller, the other night said to me, geez, you know, when you look at her, her withers are so unbelievable. Yeah, that, uh, uh, that's just a very special kind of a body. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of a throwback type. You know, she's got a lot of balanced image in her and you don't see a lot of uh, animals that look like that these days. I, we were just thinking the other day there, you know, I, I find it hard to believe that she's got four seasons of racing in her and now she's going to be six and you think of a six-year-old, 
uh, that's raced since two as being, you know, you'd think they'd be tired or a little worse for wear or maybe not as good as they were, but that doesn't appear so at all. She still likes her work. Oh yeah, loves it. I think she, I think she misses it. You know, when she, she was out for a couple of months, but uh, Carter Dewar had her down there, and he, he said she was kind of acting like she was getting sour and wanted to get back to work, and it's, you know, that seems the way she is, you know. It's a long winter without racing any top horses, but so uh, yeah, we're we're ready. Come on, let's get going, Nifty. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah.